What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Bikurtio. Welcome back to a brand new video of the new FPL season with me because I'm trying to upload again. So let's see how we do. Still haven't responded to your comments. Been very busy today. This video is going to be out ooh, quite late today, um, but it is still out. I was tempted. Old Kurt thought I could just leave it. New Kurt thought we've still got to get one out. Uh, I was late doing things today, sort of kept behind with a few things so that meant YouTube was a bit later, but fortunately enough I am recording a couple of videos or getting the stuff ready tonight so that basically you'll have content for up until you know maybe the weekend so some good content today we've got basically the best five budget goalkeepers in my opinion uh, I've looked into the stats into you know not all, not just the first few fixtures but just sort of the team in general just so you get a decent sort of season thing because it's not really a place you constantly transfer players out of the attack is mainly well even outfield players just the main sort of positions that are touched up a bit goalkeepers quite often can just sit there unless they're getting smashed every week and you think probably need to change them but yep all at 4.5 million the best goalkeepers basically coming up now First up, we have Mr. Patricio of Wolves. Now, Wolves are the only newcomer to the Premier League to have a goalkeeper on here because there's an element of slight trust you can put on them. Now, I'm very sort of sceptical when it comes to teams going up. And next year, when Sheffield Wednesday go up, I'll be sceptical as well, hopefully. Um, but Rui Patricio is one that is, you know, two years ago, he won the Euros. You know, he was the man behind Portugal. Um, last season, you look at his stats, he conceded just 24 goals, had 17 clean sheets in just 34 games. You're looking at that, and I've got my stats right there, that is every two games you get a clean sheet. Now, I wasn't able to get any you know, bonus points because obviously you can't, and also the amount of saves have been hard to find as well. Uh, Basically, he gets a clean sheet once every uh, two games in the Portuguese league. Now, granted, he isn't joining a massive club, despite what Wolves fans on Twitter will tell you. Um, but I do think they'll do well, and they are a big club. And they wiped the floor with the championship. Made it a bit interesting at the end, but only very slightly. Um, they were very, very comfortable um, with winning the league. And when it comes down to it, he's a top-draw goalkeeper going into a team that could potentially really need a top-draw goalkeeper. They play three at the back, potential to sit back and counter well. I think Patricio could be a good mix, and I believe you guys should definitely consider it as well. He has 4.5% of ownership, um, so he's a slight differential, um, but he's quite well-owned differential. I call it up to about 5-6% uh, differentials, anything above that, it's an average pick. So it's quite a well-owned differential, but definitely one you should keep your eyes on. Next up, we have the lowest percentage owned goalkeeper on here, and that's Jonas Lossel. I've completely forgot how to say his name for some reason. Jonas Lossel. Might even be his first name, I forgot. Who knows? Of Huddersfield. Um, obviously a goalkeeper. Um, 3% ownership. Um, so he's a bit of an interesting one, but last season he did do all right, to be fair to him. Over 100 saves, which is always a good, you know, sort of looking point for goalkeepers that have been in the, seat, um, been in the uh, Premier League before. And at 4.5 as well, played all 38 games for Huddersfield, maxed out his minutes. Um, he conceded 58 goals on the worst on here, but did get 10 clean sheets and 11 bonus points. If Huddersfield are to improve and are to try and make a good stay in the Premier League, um, then potentially you could see that rise as well. And I do think Lossall did have a good season. There were quite a few nervy moments, but he improved and improved and improved. And from the goalkeeper you saw, you know, making the mistakes, I believe he improved a lot by the end of the season. So one to look out for. Not the strongest one, but definitely one that could be a differential in fixtures to come. Next up, we have Begovic of Bournemouth. Now, another one that sort of had an interesting season. It was a bit sort of iffy. Um, I'm another one that played 38 games. As long as I've looked at the right stat, I might have looked at the completely wrong thing for all these. But as far as I know, all the goalkeepers I'm listing have played all 38 games. Uh, price to 4.5, as I've said. Ownership on 5%. So if I'm doing the 5% strict um, sort of differentials, right on it. I did 6 last season, I believe. 5 the season before. There is a fly. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's right on the top of the differentials. So one that could be considered, but he's also a couple of good game weeks. He's into decent ownership levels. Got to consider that as well. Uh, last season, played 38 games, obviously. 111 saves, so we're progressively getting better. 61 goals conceded, and only 6 clean sheets with 6 bonus points as well. That's the telling one, the clean sheets. Now, you want saves, and he gave them that. But Bournemouth only made 6 clean sheets with him in goal. So you've got to look at that and think uh, they need to improve. They have to improve. 
Um, Bournemouth still stayed up and they're still a very small club but they are making good signings. Um, they are you know, improving as a club and I do think Begovic is one of the better cheaper goalkeepers in terms of sort of quality. But they do need to play better, they need to adapt their tactics a bit more. Um, so it's a bit of a risky one but if all things go well Begovic could be a really good keeper for, for 4.5. Goodness me, I'm messing my words up a lot. Our penultimate goalkeeper is Matt Ryan of Brighton. A Brighton team that I said would be down, would be one of the favourites to go down and one of the easiest to probably, and one of the first to go down in a, in a relegation scrap. But they did really well, to be fair to them. Chris Hewson managed them well and uh, they surpassed my expectations. Now granted mine are always a bit out there. I've still got Premier League predictions to do, which I'll do once the transfer window's pretty much ended uh, towards the end of that. Uh, I'm not sure when it ends, but I know it's before the season, so we'll be able to get it out before the season started. All transfers are made, boom, barring any potential outgoings. Uh, but he's owned by 6.7%, so just above the differential rate um, for me. Again, it, it 38 appearances, 124 saves. He made 54 goals go past him. Didn't really make it, but they did go past him. 10 clean sheets, 13 bonus points. Overall, Matt Ryan had a really good season, and I do think it probably is going to be set to continue. Looking at it though, I think Brighton will have a tougher experience this season. It's always tougher the second time round. So same with Jonas Lossall. It's always going to be tougher. Some good teams have come up. Um, teams that potentially have money to put behind. That have made good signings. Wolves made some good signings. Fulham made some good signings. Uh, so you need to remember that. And teams as well that are already here that are making some good signings. Um, but Brighton, I think, will be up for the challenge. He's already made 124 saves. So if it does get tougher for them, you know you've got a save T goalkeeper, which I keep on harping on about. And I will do so for every time I basically talk about goalkeepers, safety and safety. Uh, but Matt Ryan, the penultimate best. And uh, I think you can probably guess who's next. Of course, it is Fabianski. Um, was currently... Um, at Swansea at the end of the season as they got relegated but West Ham have snapped him up um, in what is a, I have to say a fantastic transfer I did think if they were going to get a new goalkeeper which Hart leaving Adrian not being you know the best out there could get better go for Jack Butland if you can't grab him Fabianski is an awesome replacement and he will be he is well loved he's got over 25% on ownership simply put he's going to be me and my team come the end. I don't think he's in my team at the moment, but I haven't touched it since the start. Uh, he's definitely going to be in my team come the first game of the season uh, because he is a wonderful, wonderful goalkeeper. And last season, he made 137 saves. He conceded just 56 goals, just 56, but still quite a lot considering the team went down. Brighton stayed up and conceded 54, so you got to look at that as well. Nine clean sheets, which is good, and 14 bonus points. So Fabianski, you've got to look at it like this. He's going to an ever-improving West Ham, they're signing a lot of good players, they're a lot better I believe than Swansea and uh, under Pellegrini could be a very very good side and a very sturdy side at the back which means you've got a safety in front of him but you've got safety at the back at 4.5 if West Ham push up to where they were you know, a couple of seasons ago in sort of the top half of the table maybe getting 10 to 15 clean sheets, who knows? Who knows? He could be bargain of the goalkeeper section. That's why I think he is the best budget goalkeeper currently in the game. But that happens to be that for this video. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. So, yeah, that's basically it. Fabianski, I believe, is the best, backed up by the fact he's owned by over 25% of people. Only an injury would thought his potential, you know, top sort of scoring for lower priced goalkeepers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and let me know what you want to see from me and I'll reply to those comments. I'm getting around to that. We're we'll doing that tonight as this video is released or um, through the night tomorrow morning, that sort of thing. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Tomorrow that is actually. Sorry. T cut that fade away. Tomorrow um, is going to be the next video. So yeah, rewind you and put you back onto the fade. So bye.